Right, it has been another busy week in politics. Boy, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi leading the first major House vote challenging the president. The California Republican Party elected its first female leader. And President Trump, of course, meeting with Kim Jong-un in Vietnam for a summit there. And with that, we're going to bring in our political analyst, Gary Dietrich. Tonight. Yeah, Gary, good to see you. Of course, nothing going on in politics <laughs> know, this week. Right? That's always the way it is these so days. My right, goodness. About. Try to squeeze it in. Let's start with President Trump's national emergency declaration. Does Nancy Pelosi have the votes to veto override it if it passes? Simple answer, no. <laughs> and, uh, and not in the Senate either. So uh, some are saying there may be enough Republican defectors in the Senate for it to pass. Trump's already vowed a veto. It'll probably come back then to the Congress if that's the case, but it doesn't look like it's going to be able to withstand the veto. And of course, the larger question is if Nancy Pelosi, our Northern Californian, who's now leading the charge in the House, continues to uh, take on Trump, does it have negative implications for the state down the road? We'll see. Definitely not done with this topic. Far from it. Yeah. That's for sure. All right. The California Republican Party elected its first female leader, Jessica Patterson. So what is this saying about the future of the Republican Party? Well, the GOP has made no bones about it. I mean, they've, they've decided, hey, you know what? We are going to have a difference than we've had in the, well, different look than we've had in the past. And so this is for them a statement. It's a statement to say, look, um, we're broadening our base. We're not an anti-immigrant party in California. And this has been a big statement. And bringing a woman on board as their leader, that's never happened before. Mm -hmm. All right, Gary, finally, let's talk, let's talk about North Korea. A year ago, people were pretty worried about missile tests. But now, you know, with the president landing in Vietnam and these talks kind of starting, does this help the president give him a different image here on the West Coast? Yeah, you know, there, there have been a lot of people who have said, indeed, that it does. That, in, in fact, uh, you know, there's people, there's, believe it or not, people on the West Coast worried about missiles landing here during those missile tests. But right now, Trump's his second summit. People are saying this is going to have a lot of impact in terms of moving the discussions forward. And frankly, this has been one of the issues, North Korea and the missiles, mm -hmm. that Trump has scored best on when it's polled nationally. So this is actually a winning issue for him politically. All right, we'll see what comes out of these talks. Gary, thank you.